No objection. 351 is admitted. Let's move to after the breakup. Oh, okay. What uh, what kept you in Mesa at that point? I actually moved to Mesa a few weeks after we broke up. Really? Mm -hmm. I mean, as far as the timeline goes. But, I mean, if you want to call it our official breakup, shortly thereafter, it's like we were still seeing each other. So you guys were seeing each other, but... It was a long distance type relationship. It was always long distance when we were officially dating. We didn't we dated we dated from about the beginning of February to about the end of June. So okay. February, March, April, May, June, about five months total. Okay. In June two thousand seven you guys broke up and and then June you moved 29th. to Mesa. Um yeah, I moved to Mesa sort of Most few people weeks. when they break up they I know, way. and it was, and we, the plans were already in order for me to move there. Um, I was already speaking with a friend who was, you know, was going to be her roommate, and I was her roommate for a short time. Mm -hmm. um, she's kind of flighty, and she's a great girl, though. Um, I had talked to Travis about maybe going to Southern California instead, okay. and he's really... He's, he's really persuasive. He persuaded you to stay there in Mesa? He's, he kind of was playing up all the advantages if I did come to Mesa. Mm -hmm. And if I did, you know, um, he said, you know, it's, it's, it's a great place. We could still see each other and hang out on occasion. Um, this church is very strong. You know, you'll, you'll make a lot of friends. And I already knew all this stuff prior because I had, we talked about that. Um, you know, and so I went ahead and just made the move. It sounded at the time like a good idea. And you guys continued to kind of see each other at that time? Yeah, at the time I was sort of living more across town over by Greenfield. Do you know where that is? Yeah. Uh, it was up Greenfield near Broadway. Greenfield and Broadway were the nearest cross streets. And that's where the girl that I was originally talking with, we, I moved in with her. Yeah, it's kind of far from Yeah. Travels. Yeah. Um, the thing about her and, and just to give you a background of why I moved suddenly, um, she approached me the weekend after I got there and said, hey, she knocked on my door, can I talk to you for a second? I said, sure. And she moved in with her boyfriend, um, and they were engaged. Okay. And she said, hey, I just wanted to let you know that Scott and I went to Vegas last weekend to tie the knot. And I was like, really? And she's like, yeah, we haven't told anyone, but we didn't want to live in sin. So we're gonna, and she had already been sealed in the temple once and was waiting for her cancel. Her to, her to, yeah, to be canceled. So they were going to have a civil wedding um, on the beach in Oregon, and they did that the following uh, uh, the following weekend. And she told me that on a Monday or Tuesday it was the beginning of the week, and she said the reason I'm telling you that is because I'm getting married this weekend, and I have to go out of town a few days ahead of Scott, you know, and make arrangements. And now that he's a married man, we don't feel it's right that you be here. Yeah. She's like, I don't want to inconvenience you, but is there any way you could stay with somebody else or just find another place? At the time, I was waiting on a house in Gilbert because I already knew they were getting married, so I was kind of looking anyway. And there was a great girl named Brenda, and she was waiting on her keys for the mortgage to go through, and it was a great ward, and it was a great house, and it was brand new um, construction and all that. It was really nice. Um, but she didn't get her keys for months and months. I think she's in the house now, but I don't know. I haven't talked to her. Um, so I scrambled. I went to the institute, I wrote down a bunch of phone numbers, I called them all, a lot of them, I got voicemails. Um, one girl that answered, her name was Tiffany, and she knew Travis, and she was at his services in Arizona, and um, 
as well. And we've just remained friends, sort of, like on MySpace and Facebook and that kind of thing. But she said, hey, sorry, that's not David Posting. I forgot to take it down, but go to this website. So LDSHousing.net, I went there. I made three phone calls um, for the places that were within my price range. I didn't think to look where they were. Um, the one girl that called me back, her name was Shannon Derricott. She said, here's my place, here's the directions. Go ahead and go out and come see the house that was available, so we did. Oh, go ahead. You have to get that? No. Okay. Um, so I moved out there, and when Travis found out it was so close to him, he freaked out about it. And I made sure to check that it wasn't, that that we wouldn't be in the same ward. And it was within his ward boundaries, but it was also within another single's ward boundary. So of course I'm gonna go the other one, because it would just be kind of weird. I mean, I didn't know about him and Lisa at first. Exhibit number 355, that contained that portion of the interview. Yes. Exhibit 355 is admitted. You keep saying you, you knew that it, that it wasn't healthy and, and you knew it was contributing to something that wasn't good. And, I, I think at and, the but time, yet you guys continued to do it. Yeah. And, and part of that, part of my um, perspective now has to do with the fact that I'm going through a repentance process that I've worked out with, you know, with my bishop. And he's given me, you know, certain scriptures to read and, and ponder and pray about. And it just, it brings me back to where I was prior to all that. Um, I don't know how much I ever really was there as much as I am now because even before I was baptized, even the two days before I was baptized, four days, it was on Wednesday and I was baptized on Sunday, um, before Thanksgiving, and it was just like, like Travis and I were making out and, you know, whether that was prior to, we hadn't gone all the way at that point, but it was just too far. Did you also talk to her about the events involving her travels on June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th? Yes, I did. for the admission. 
Commission with 356. No objection. 356 is admitted. kind of giving me a really good uh, rundown of your relationship and um, how you guys thought of each other and stuff. And, and I was pretty pretty close to right on with my with my theory on how you guys, you know, why you continued to see each other and what was going on during that time. Um, I think there's some other things that you're not telling me. I think, I think maybe you were, the jealousy probably continued even after the fact that you moved away. Um, for instance, the, uh, was it the week of the, well, the first week of, of June, you took a trip to Salt Lake City. Remember that trip we talked about? Oh, this year? I was, yes. I'm thinking back. Um, <coughs> yeah. You had, you had left, I think it was like a Monday. No, I left Monday, June 2nd. Monday, June 2nd. Right yeah, in morning or afternoon or something. I can't remember what, late morning. I think it was morning. Okay. And you've gone down to Reading and rented a car. Mm -hmm. um, where did you rent that car? Uh, the Reading Airport. Okay. Do you remember what car company it was? It, ooh, I don't remember the rental company, but I remember the make and model. It was a Ford Focus. Yeah, I got that from other people in Utah. They said you showed up in a Ford Focus. Uh -huh. It was white, four door, no um, cruise control. I like road trips. Cruise control is really good. You don't remember what company it was? Uh, Who rented it? I did. Was it was it your credit card? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, I could look it up. And so Maybe. you took a trip and you decided to go to, um, instead of going over to Utah, you went straight out to Los Angeles area? I went to Santa Cruz first. Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I stayed the night in Monterey. And the next day I drove to <coughs> Pasadena, okay. waiting for Laura to call me back. You didn't contact her at all? Uh, she contacted me finally after I'd already left LA. There was too late. You'd already yeah. left at that point. Yeah, and we had plans to, to do that again this and week. Which route did you take from, from there? I was supposed to get on the 15 and go all the way up. Uh -huh. And I somehow got off the 15. And where did you end up? Um, for a while I was lost. And I'm not above sleeping in the car, so I slept for a while. Okay. I'm a heavy sleeper and I sleep a lot, so. But you were on the 15 for a while, mm -hmm. and you ended up getting off the 15 somewhere. Yeah, I, I, I looked at a map, and I'm pretty sure I know where I went. I went, can I draw you a map? Sure. Because I eventually started seeing signs um, for Phoenix, and I was like, and it was several hundred miles away still. Like, that's weird. Where am I going? Um, so you have California. 
in Los Angeles and um, Nevada, Arizona, Utah. And I was supposed to go somewhere right up here. Oh, I'm a lefty. So the 15 kind of does one of these. Yeah. Goes um, through, let's say, Las Vegas right here. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm my No, that's okay, so that's okay. So we'll just put, just put I just, I know it cuts through Arizona in the corner. Um, Las Vegas, um, St. George is somewhere here. And then, so the 40 runs somewhere this way, because somehow I, I ended up on the 40. And when I saw the 40, I'm like, the only thing I associate with the 40 is Flagstaff, and Flagstaff is somewhere yeah, in North Utah. Is right I mean, north, north, northern Arizona. Yeah. And so, um, and it was I was going east, and I was like, this isn't this. What's going on here? I just I wasn't going the right way, and so I. Um, I've had for the last two years, I've had a car that has a GPS system in it. It's really good, and um, it I think it's sir. It hasn't served me. As far as getting a sense of direction, when I moved to Palm Desert, yeah, you kind of rely on it a little too much. Too much. In fact, when I moved, when I moved in with the the last place I lived in Arizona, I did not know how close it was to Travis. I didn't realize. Um, I have a very bad sense of direction, and it wasn't until I began to I used my GPS the whole time I was there, pretty much, just to find things. Um, anyway, so I got back. I looked at the map quest that I had. I had mapped west a bunch of places. I was maybe going to go to Death Valley. Um, I was maybe going to go Did you actually cross over into Arizona? Is that how far you went? I crossed over twice, I think. My map was wrong because the 93 goes north. And then I hit the 15 again. And then I got here. And then I hit Arizona. And then went here. It, the, somehow I got north on the 93. Okay. And then I hit the 15. So. I mean, I don't know where Phoenix is and Mesa. It's got to be over here. Yeah. I didn't go anywhere near there. So you, you took this trip and you left on, was it Monday the 2nd? Right? And you didn't get to Utah until Thursday, you told me. Yeah, I got to Utah on Thursday. So Thursday, and that's the 5th? Mm. Yeah, I think so. so. Monday, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have, it's like 48 hours there that, well, obviously three days, but there's plenty, there's 48 hours. So this trip took you a little over 48 hours. So. Mm -hmm. um, I have a problem with this trip. Well, I okay. went first, too. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know you went down here. Okay. I mean, obviously, Irika. Right there, beautiful little place here, except it's kind of smoky. And yeah, I can't yeah. see the views. <laughs> I was hoping to see some mountains, but you really I should see, see Mount Shasta. Okay, I've gone over this trip over and over in my mind and on paper, and even if there's still twenty some odd hours, even if you pulled over to sleep a couple of times. Oh, did I tell you that I got stranded? Yeah. Okay. You mentioned that. If you slept for 10 hours, I only slept for about here and hour. here, it would still leave 18 some odd hours yeah. for something else. Okay. This is what people are focusing on, is this trip that you took. Because they're saying she left, she didn't get to till Thursday. Wednesday. That's when Travis was killed. I did not go near his house. Isn't there? Aren't there? I pulled your cell records. Your cell phone was turned off between here and here. Okay. But the last place it pulled it was here. The next place it turned on was here. What does that show me? Oh, well, I began... Oh, no, no, no. Is there plenty of time for you to do that? Yes. And I... Do I believe that you had come to visit Travis? Yes. 
and I truly believe it. Did you have the opportunity? Yes, you were traveling alone. There's no other witnesses. Your phone just happened to turn off from here to here. Well, I didn't turn it off physically, but it died. And then it magically, you, oh you found your charger here? It was, it was under the, packed under the seat of the passenger side. And it was when I was... When you were lost, you couldn't have maybe pulled over and found it? Or? Well, I did finally start looking when I was stranded. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have pulled over when I was lost. Okay, this, I've been focusing on this and going over and over my mind. Why this happened? Why your phone turns off here, outside of Los Angeles? What city is that? Because I got towards, as far as um. There's no cities. There's towers. Oh, okay. Well, okay, I got. There's towers dotted all over this place. Yeah. One tower hit here. The other tower here on the 93. There is no way somebody can get on that 15 and magically get on that 93. Because that 15 goes right through Las Vegas. Right there. It continues this way. It well, never goes through Arizona again. I, I got off before Las Vegas. I didn't get the, back on. The 15, you'd have to go to Las Vegas and then come down south, go through uh, Boulder City. I went um, through Boulder City going north. Did you cross over the, uh, the I know. dam? Uh-huh. You didn't think that was odd? You were crossing it over Arizona? Well, after I, fi I figured out it was lost by then, and I found, okay. I found the 93 and then found my way back to the 15. And this tower here, it's not just over the border in Arizona, it's quite a distance inside of Arizona that it hit. Because there is a mountain range all along here. And if you're on this side of the mountain range, pretty good distance, that signal's not gonna come, not gonna hit Utah or, Utah, uh, or Nevada or California. It's only gonna hit in Arizona. Well, I had somehow gotten off the 15 and got onto the 40, okay. is what happened. Well. The only way you can get on the 40 is if after you cross the bridge or the uh, the dam. I think the, dam. I think I got on the 40 in California. From the 15. Well, like, because I had actually gotten, I actually began to drive the 10 west. But you see what I'm saying? The confusion that we're having. And, and we'll come back to this. Well, I got on the 40 somewhere over here. In California. Yeah, and continued to drive this way. Realized I was not in the right place at all. And then I got onto the, no the 93 North. And then I hit the 15 again. And then I went through Las Vegas and then St. George and then on to Utah. Okay. That still doesn't make any sense to me. And I can pull the maps and show them to you and you can go over and over and over again. But I don't think you're being completely honest with me about, about that trip. I honestly got lost. It's, it's bad timing. <laughs> Did you then confront her about whether or not she was at the the victim's home on Wednesday. Yes, I did. <coughs> Take a look at uh, exhibit number 357, and that contains the portion of the conversation involving that. Yes.
357 is admitted. Were you at Travis's house on Wednesday? Absolutely not. I was, I was nowhere near Mesa. I was nowhere near no. Phoenix. I wasn't even close to him. Um, what if I could show you proof you were there? How would that change your mind? I wasn't there. Can you be honest with me, Joey? I was not at Travis's house. I was not. You were at Travis's house. You guys had a sexual <coughs> encounter, which there's pictures. And I know you know there's pictures because I have them. I will show them to you. Okay? So, what I'm asking you. It's for you to be honest with me. I know you were there. Are you sure those pictures aren't from another time? Positive. Absolutely positive. The last time I had any kind of sexual contact with Travis was in April. Remember I told you about the camera? Mm -hmm. That camera was damaged. Someone put it in a washing machine, ran it through a wash cycle with some clothes of Travis's. But the card's intact. Remember I told you that card was destroyed? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to tell you the truth because I wanted to make sure those photos were accurate. And we can pull deleted photos. I don't care if you delete them six months ago. We can pull every photo that was ever on there. Pull the little pixels together. Get the timestamps on them. Not all of them, but most of them have timestamps on them. And we can verify those timestamps. Mm -hmm. And I have pictures of you in Travis's bedroom with Travis. Pictures of him. And it's obvious you guys are having sex taking photos of each other and they're dated and time stamped on the day he died. Are you sure it's me? I mean that because I Joey, was not there. It's you. And you know it's you. I know all the details of this case. The only thing I don't know is why. Why did you choose to go visit Travis that day? And why did you do what you did? I never why, heard Travis. You did. You hurt him. That's why we're here. That's why I flew up here. Because I needed to talk to you about this. I can just arrest you and throw you in jail, but I want to know why. Why did you do this to him? I wouldn't hurt Travis. He's done so much for me. There's so much evidence in that house. So much. And it all points to you. I... I lived there. I was there for months and months and months. Mm -hmm. I know you took pictures of him in the shower. Just before he died. I don't think he would allow that. Mm -hmm. 
and the camera actually took a couple of photos by accident during the time he was being killed. Really? Yeah, Jordy, really. You were there. Quit playing this game. It's time for you to just come out and, I and did tell not, me. I, am, I did not hurt Travis. I did not hurt Travis. I wouldn't do that to him. Can I see the pictures? We have your blood at the scene. I can explain the blood and the hair. I don't know about my left palm print. How can you explain the blood and the hair? Well, because I used to bathe Napoleon all the time. And, um... You haven't been there since April. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, He's had the house cleaned several times since then. And this hair was not just a, a hair, you know, from the shower or something. This hair was stuck with blood. and obviously had blood on it. At the time, it got stuck where it, where it ended up. My There's hair would no have been way. all over. There's no other hair. Can you take place. Can you take a hair sample? And we like, have your DNA. No, 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 but I mean, like, you know how they could do drug tests and find out when things were done? No, can you? we can't do that. Can't you measure the time? We maybe? have DNA matching that hair, too. Okay, I know, but my And hair that hair had a follicle on it, and that means that that hair wasn't there very long. The follicle usually dissipate and go away after a certain time. It'll fall off the hair itself. Well, when I would okay. brush my Show hair you. there, I mean... This one, you absolutely cannot, can, cannot explain that away. You either had blood on your hand and you touched the wall, or there was blood on the wall and you touched our luck. Could my palm print have already been there and then I touched it? Joey. Joey. This is over. This is absolutely over. You need to tell me the truth. Listen, the truth is I did not hurt Travis. Okay, so we're Joey, safe. you can continue to do this, okay? A records check shows you that you uh, as reported a a gun stolen, 25 auto, just happens to be the same caliber as the weapon used to kill him. The 25 auto was used to kill Travis? Mm -hmm. Yeah, along with multiple stab wounds. Joey, if you want, I can show you some pictures of him. Do you want to see pictures of him? Part of me does, and part of me doesn't. Why, because you don't want to remember? No, I Joey. just, there's a morbid curiosity. Joey. I wanted to know how he died. We can keep playing these games over and over again. I'm not going to believe you. All when right. you start telling me the Listen. truth, then I can believe you. But I can't deny this evidence. I can't. The trip you took doesn't make sense. The opportunity was there. Your pictures on that date with him. Your blood is in the house. Mixed with his. Mixed. Not alongside, but mixed. Your hair is there with blood. And your palm print is there in blood. I, it's over. Could it have been my blood from before? Your image is not important right now. 
Saving the rest of your life is... Listen, if I'm found guilty, I don't have a life. I'm not guilty. I didn't hurt Travis. If I hurt Travis, if I killed Travis, I would beg for the death penalty. Was there anybody else with you? I was traveling alone the whole time. Was there anybody else with you at Travis's house on Wednesday the 4th? I was not at Travis's house on Wednesday the 4th. You are? Because that's when the blood was left on, uh, the bloody palm print was left on his wall. I don't know what to tell you. If you were in my shoes and I had this evidence against against you, what would you say? If I had that evidence against you, it would yeah. be pretty obvious. But I guess being in my position, I, it just seems so impossible. I'd want to see it. I'd want to know. I mean, I'm not like, I'm not a murderer, but I guess if I were to do that, I would wear gloves or, you know, something. I just, how could my, I don't know. I know you tried to wash him off, try to get some of the blood off, try to clean him up a little bit, but you're even denying the pictures of you being there. There's pictures of you laying on the bed in pigtails. Pigtails? Yes. And I've got pictures of you that I've blown up, and you've got the little mole right there. It's the same one. It's you. It's obvious. I can show you some of these pictures. Do you want to see the pictures? Will that change your mind? I mean, I am curious. Okay, let me take a break then. Let me go find them. And I'll bring them and show you. I wasn't there. But you need to think about what you're saying. This continuing to lie is not going to help you. If you do something I didn't do, won't help me either. Okay, let's say for a second that I did. And I say, I did it. I mean. The motive is there, the jealousy issue. But I wasn't, I wouldn't even say it was jealous. I mean, there, um, there may have been some jealousy there, but. Then what is I think it? What anyone, caused this? I think if. You know, if anyone, maybe Travis was jealous, but... <clears throat> That's not what everybody else says. Well, they know he was jealous, but they think that you are absolutely obsessed. Obsessed is the word that they use. That's the word I hear from everybody. Fatal attraction. I don't know how many times I've heard that. Look at Jody. Jody had to have done this, or she had someone to do it for her. There's not one person that says anything else. Why is that? That's the perception they have of you. And there's a reason for that perception. Maybe because it's true. And maybe because we kept hanging out. Mm -hmm. But not because it's true. Cause this. I can prove you were there. I can prove it. But what I don't have is I don't have answers on why it happened. Or, you know, maybe something just got out of hand. Just, maybe maybe things got out of hand. Did you and, find the, the, the gun? Maybe that would... Joey, we're just playing games here. That gun was in your possession. When did you report it stolen? Um, I didn't even know that there were guns until my, grandpa my grandparents reported it stolen the day that their house was broken into. When was that? I don't remember. It was a few months ago, maybe. What did you do with the gun? I don't have a gun. They're going through your house right now, so... Are they going to find anything there that will lead you back to this? I don't think they would. I mean, there's nothing that could link me there. I mean, that's pretty compelling, I have to admit. If you found my palm print there, I don't know. I just, that's... Do you have a pair of sweatpants that's got stripes around the backside and zippers? Um... Somebody's seen you wearing those before. I've got so many clothes. Yeah, I think I do. Wait. I have a, well, I have zippered, one that zips in the back. Uh -huh. 
Is it's got like stripes, uh, like big stripe on it on the wall. It's got the black the stripe all the way down and they're white. It's yeah. got the black. I have those throughout the house. Okay. It's got, um, I have two pairs actually. One is too small and one is just about right. Um, the other one I bought anyway, that was too small because it was on sale and it's a good deal. Okay. Um, but yeah, they have stripes. What does that mean? What is that? Because I believe you were wearing a pair like that when this, when this happened. Remember I told you about the camera? It was taking pictures by mm -hmm. accident. Mm -hmm. the camera was upside down and flashed. Another time, the camera flashed. It looked like it was on the ground. Maybe it was kicked. But it took pictures. And it's obviously a female. Mm -hmm. And one of them was wearing those pants. Oh, I didn't even bring those pants on that trip. So. And if we find those pants, is that going to make my case a little bit better? Yeah. I'm going to take a little break, but I need you to think about what you're doing here. Because the best thing for you to do is to tell me the truth. Tell me exactly what happened, because you know what? I think your mom and your dad really deserve the truth. They're going to be asking. And it's absolutely... It's so important that you tell me why this occurred, what was going through your mind, and what caused you to do this. It happened, and I can prove it happened, and there's no doubt in my mind, and there absolutely is no doubt in anybody else's mind who's investigating this, that you were there and that you did this. But I'll let you think about that. Okay, and I'm gonna go look for some pictures and I'll bring them over and we'll continue this discussion. Okay, let me go find them. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take the evening recess. Please be back in the designated area at 1025 tomorrow morning. We will start promptly at 1030. Remember the admonition, you are excused. Council, please approach.